It's still something banging. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, we're leaving Plumber Park so, with something banging in the back. We might have to stop short. <laughs> Three quarters of a mile. Turn left onto a 614. I'm going to head down the A1 to Ashwell, uh, to Ashridge Farm Caravan and Motorhome Club site. So we'll show the final approach to that, won't we? Yeah. Just in case it's the first time anybody's ever watched us arrive there, because yeah. there is a recommended way, isn't there? Which you yeah. always try and show. All right, so back through the gate and left onto the 614 and then onto the A1 for us. Yeah. Yep, someone's left the wardrobe door open. Take the exit on the left to a one toward the south. Some sat-navs will take you off the A1 a bit earlier, won't they? Yes. So yeah. At the roundabout, take the second exit to A5 and 5. So what you want is the, the A505 junction towards Royston. Yeah, because there's some quite narrow lanes, aren't there, around the back there? Yeah. And you can end up going through Ashwell itself. Yeah. So this this way avoids the, the village and avoids some of the narrow lanes at the back. Yep, so don't take this turn in either. That's quite narrow down there. Yeah, that will lead you into the village, won't it? Down yeah. that quite narrow road. Yeah. since we've been here. It is, a, is it a year? Yeah, because we did come in December, but we didn't. It's all the snow. Turn left onto Station Road. Yeah, you want the sign for Ashwell and Steeple Morden. Great big hole there. Huge hole there, yeah. And another one here. So three inch deep that is.
Ashwell Street, then take the first left. I just find this a bit daunting, this turn here, especially when you've got the car on the back. And you've got those parked cars there, haven't you? Yeah. Oh, I've got a pothole here. God, yeah. Grief. about missing it. Not to get the car in it, it's like a blooming well. <laughs> That's the well that Ashwell's <laughs> named after. <laughs> no it's not. No it's not. No. <laughs> Could be. Could be. Building another house here. Another one? Yeah. Turn Three. left onto the alley. Oh we can go on that end one. Went on uh, last year. Yeah. It's a good one, that. Yeah, there's no one in front of us, is there, sir? No. Hopefully. They haven't opened up the grass pitches yet. Arriving at Ashridge Farm on the left. No. Which is hardly surprising. No, there's some uh, grass pitches on the right here. They're probably still soggy. Yeah, she's just turned up. Oh, all right. Yeah. Just behind us. Oh, handbrake. Oh, it's me airbag. Warning. <laughs> You've just been pressing that mode. Yeah, yeah, the mode switches the beeping off. And your friend Chris is going to help when we get back, isn't he? Yeah. You might be able to clear it, I don't know, but... Please tell us what the error message means. So we're going straight along, are we? We can either go left here or or straight straight along and go either way here. If we go this way you'll see the site. It's not a very big site, is it? No, I think it's only forty when they've uh, opened up the grass. So even with the grass pitches, so it's yeah. more like thirty something, isn't it? Yeah. Wow, well, that's a big caravan. So either this one. Yeah, we'll go on this one. This one here? Yeah. Okay. Right, Pops. What's the plan for today? No idea, have you? Yeah. Yeah, the plan for today is that we're going to go down to the three tons. We're meeting up with, or well, we've already met up with Alison, and uh, we're going to meet up with Brian and Dave and Marion. We're going to come over and we're going to have a meal. The plan was to sit outside at the three tons. So, but it's been chucking it down all night, and it everywhere's wet, and it it's just. Oh, it's a bit cool, so I don't really fancy sitting outside. <laughs> so I don't know what we're going to do. Let's stop raining. Oh, I can see that. The rain's back again this evening. What's it say? 10% chance of rain today? Yeah. During the day. Right. But then 70% this evening again. Yeah, so it's back this evening. Sure, it might be alright for no rain, but it's just so blooming cool, isn't it? It's not... Yeah, exactly cold. We're about 10 degrees. Yeah. Yeah, so we're back at Ashwell. Um, it's about £31 a night, I think. Is that right? £31? Yeah. Yeah, so not too bad. Um, and I'm back to emptying the water with me. Waste Master and uh, Aqua Roll, so having to slum it. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it's a lovely little campsite, Ashwell, and you can walk into the town, so... No, it's well worth visiting for that if you don't want to go uh, very far. You don't really need to go anywhere. But we've got some visits planned. We're planning to perhaps, I don't know, go to St Albans. Yeah, just getting a nod. And uh, we might visit Venture Caravans as well. I think we said that. I'm currently trying to <laughs> upload my uh, Clumber Park um, 
video. It's not doing too badly, it's about 34%. But uh, I, I tried the EE sim over here, thinking that was better. And on the coverage map, EE is supposed to be better. But it was, oh, it was so slow, it's unbelievable. So I've gone back to Vodafone signal now. Um, although it seems slower, it's actually uploading quicker, if that makes any sense at all. So the toilet and showers are much the same as they've always been. I don't think they've uh, changed them. There's only two showers here, but I mean, well, with 30 pictures, it's probably it's probably okay. Um, <laughs> not much has changed in all the years we've been coming here. I think it's been pretty much the same. Well, they have got a new washing machine. We'll have to have a look at that. But Jenny just said on the three tons website they've got some old pictures of what it used to look like yeah so i've only got that one but that's what what three tons in the road outside used to look like it must be about 1900 all oh, right so that's 1900 wow oh that's yeah. see if you can download that yeah probably ought to add that the price for this site is the price we would have paid last year because we booked this last year i think the prices have gone up by five pound i think it's five pound yeah, about £5. Um, so about 12% uh, for this year. So I suppose it does pay to book a year in advance. Doing, Pops? Don't do that. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, uh, don't forget to check out our, uh, our shop. Uh, where you can get wonderful T-shirts like this. <laughs> but also, they've also put some coronation mugs on there for people people who are interested Poppy, do you mind? <laughs> for people who are interested in the coronation there's some coronation memorabilia there so if you do want to have a quick look at the shop I'd appreciate it it would certainly help the channel so thanks a lot